underway. The official start tomorrow, but artists are here already painting, including our next guest, Brightwall's mural artist, Joey Solomon. Hi, Joey. Hey, how are you? Good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And you've already started your mural. Already started. Mm -hmm. Where are you located? Um, the <laughs> it's an alley of Michigan artists. Um, it's right off of Michigan Avenue. Yeah. So yeah. it's uh, the Assembly um, Church building next to the Otsego, that alley. And by the way, did you notice there's a big there's a for sale sign on yeah. the uh, Assembly building? <laughs> So you could own that building and have all those murals on it. So you're known for uh, rainbow palette. Mm -hmm. uh, why that? Why those colors? Uh, I think a multitude of things. I mean, I get to do a lot with LGBT representation, uh, which is great. Uh, I also just like a ton of colors. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I think it's fun when you can go out and see a mural or something that looks, I don't know, like just not like, like natural colors or something, something that just looks super vibrant. Yeah, they jump out. Yeah. At you. So uh, we have some photos. Now you've just started your mural, so um, we're not going to be able to, I don't think, discern what you're, what you're painting, but I'll ask you about that in a minute. Tell us uh, about some of the things we'll be looking at, like right now. Uh, so that's uh, a ground mural I did for a food truck in Detroit. Um, and that one's actually, I feel like, kind of a more like scaled down version of what I do. Usually it's, I'll use like every single surface and do lots of detail. Uh, but this particular one, there's going to be like picnic tables on top of it. So it didn't make sense to do a lot of little details, but yeah, that was a fun one. So what's the difference painting on a wall and painting on, on, a, on a pavement? On the ground? Uh, when you're done painting on the ground, your body hurts bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of up and down, your knees hurt. There's not necessarily like any, there's not like a good way to do it. So it's, yeah, you're kind of all over the place. And I'd be so protective of it, like something like that, where you think, don't walk on it. Oh. Don't, don't drive on it. Preserve it. Oh. But it's designed people to, you, you want people to walk on it. Yes. Yeah. And so those ones, I mean, it's designed for that. But it definitely had situations where people <laughs> have walked on it before it's dry. And then you so, got to fix all those. Um, what are you going to be? Uh, okay, I think we got um, now some vertical uh, murals mm -hmm. on on the sides of buildings. This is cool. Yeah, is that this one, someone's house? Uh, it's it's actually one of my friend's garages in Denver. So I was in town um, visiting before doing another mural in Denver, and she was like, "Oh, while you're here, do you want to paint this?" And I said, "I sure do." Now you see those paint cans scattered on the grass. That's a, another. Uh, I guess a, a thing of mural artists, finish the can, throw Just it on throw the it. But it's surprising, to, I think a lot of people that so much detail, straight lines, mm -hmm. um, intricate uh, little uh, designs, all done with spray, spray mm -hmm. paint. It's amazing. Uh, here's a, uh, a restaurant. I think it looks like as I was looking through your portfolio, you're big into restaurants. I am. So my partner and I own a restaurant group um, so we have... You own the restaurant group? Mm -hmm. and you don't just design the uh, interior or the menu or the logo or the exterior. You're also the owner. Mm -hmm. I mean, my partner is, but I partner. get to do the design work for it, so that's fun. That's cool. So do you know what you're going to paint? Do you sketch out what you're going to do, or is it, do you make it up as you go along? I like to have no plan. Really? I feel like it's... I don't know. I feel like you get to, it's the most fresh thing that like you can possibly mm -hmm. do. So I just start anywhere. And then my process is you just start wherever and then you do the next thing based off what you just did and then just keep on doing it. And then you'll get a finished piece at the end. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Where's this? Uh, that one, so a buddy of mine and I did that for the city of Chandler in Arizona. That's going to be one of the, I think, the funnest things about being a mural artist is you see a lot of the country. Yeah, it's and, that's probably my like, one of my favorite things about it is being able to travel around and do it. Yeah, you've been um, all over. Uh, I think you were in uh, Hawaii. Right? So I, 
Uh, at that point, I was, so that was fresh out of college. I okay. moved to Hawaii. But um, murals that I've painted, so a ton all over Michigan, but then Florida, Denver, um, Arizona. This month I'll do one in California. Hmm. Yeah. So being a mural artist from Michigan, it was very important for Bright Walls to have Michigan artists and Jackson artists featured in, in Bright Walls, the finale. What was it about Bright Walls that interested you and what, how'd you get the gig? Um, Bright Walls, just even from the outside, you could tell how like well the event was put mm -hmm. on. Everything seemed very organized and and I had heard this from friends who have been in the festival before um, and so that in itself looked great and then plus all the amazing artists that they get every single year um, it's kind of like who wouldn't want to be part of that um, but yeah so was able to apply and get in yeah it's very competitive um, as you probably realize Joey hundreds of artists uh, reach out to Bright Wallace and say, hey, count me in, mm -hmm. but only 30 or so make it. Yeah. So what do you think it was about you that Bright Wallace said, hey, we gotta get, we gotta get Joey here? Mm, I think maybe that mindset of how I make my work. I mean, also like what it is at the end, but that idea of like, I don't, sketch or any, anything, I'm not gonna come with a rendering. I'm not even gonna think about what I'm gonna do until I get here. Um, and I think that kind of reflects in my work. And so I think that mindset is just another like fresh perspective of uh, a point of view. I think that's gotta be really hard because as I've seen these uh, mural artists over the years, they've got an iPad, they've got, it's almost like paint by numbers. They, they've got a grid, they're mm -hmm. gonna, paint it's exactly they've planned it or, or they project it mm -hmm. ahead of time but making it up as you go along I've seen artists run out of room mm -hmm. or they've um, not been able to fill the whole space mm -hmm. it's a risk yeah I but I still wouldn't have like it's just I feel like when I have to do something because um, here's the thing working with clients they're they want to see what you're gonna do yeah. and so when I make renderings for them I'm always or I tell them I'm like this is this is going to be like the feeling of it I'm like by no means is it going to actually look like this mm. it kind of will but this is just going to be the general idea but I don't know I feel like if I were to go in with an exact idea or sketch and then have to do it I almost would feel like trapped mm. to that like I wouldn't have any there's no space for like, I don't know, if like you have a fresh idea like on the spot or something that would work better, I don't know, I feel like it just wouldn't work for me that well. You've got a lot going on. Uh, besides being a mural artist, um, you're a traditional artist, you're a designer, interior designer. Mm -hmm. uh, you do graphics, you're in the restaurant business. Um, is that what keeps you going? It's just the variety of life or is there one thing that you want to be known for? Um, I think for me, it is having all the the variety of things. I think if I were to wake up every day and have to do like the same thing, I mean, I guess murals kind of are too, but every single project is different. Mm -hmm. um, with that too, I think I'd probably go nuts. This uh, restaurant you're um, partners uh, in, Bobcat Bonnie's, mm -hmm. uh, you've got s six locations. Mm -hmm. Now you've been to Jackson. Do you see Jackson being a, a, a community that w would uh, would be ideal for Bobcat Bonnie's? I think it'd be sweet. It was just announced today that we're opening up our uh, Lansing location. Oh, no kidding. Uh, so that one, I think, or how far is Lansing from here? It's too far to drive <laughs> for saying, a restaurant. So we have, yeah, because that one, and then we have an Ypsilanti location, but that one's like, that's probably too far. Yeah, it's 45 minutes away to Ypsilanti, a half hour to Lansing. Okay. But when people are hungry, they want to eat now. This is true. Yeah. So you- I think um, it would be great. Well, uh, one thing that Jackson loves, we love brunch. Oh we? yeah. Yes. So uh, Thrillist Magazine named Bobcat Bonnie's one of the 24 best brunches in America. Mm -hmm. So we'd love that here. Yeah. So what's so great about um, your brunch? Um, we just keep it really fun and like um, non-pretentious. Like it's like we 
kind of blast like 80s and 90s music and we have a uh, really big Bloody Mary mimosa bar and it's just the idea is is just like come in and have fun and like you don't have to get fancy it's nothing like mm -hmm. um you wear flip-flops yeah your um restaurants it looks like your murals mm -hmm. all throughout you you paint every um location uh differently or is there a theme that um painters go in and they hey this is what joy wants this to look like um so i i the whole idea with the concept because so now we have the six locations but by no means do we want to be like a, like a chain restaurant where like, I don't know, you could go, if there was a location here in Jackson and then you go to, I don't know, somewhere in Texas and it's exactly the same, we don't want that. Mm. The idea is that any of our locations you'll go into and the food will always be consistent throughout the locations, but we like to go into a space and kind of let it speak to us and we'll do it however we want. Still, like, if, if, I mean, I'm designing it, so it's still going to have, like, my, like, feel to it, mm -hmm. but I don't replicate any certain thing. Everyone's different. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll have thousands, literally, of people <laughs> down here during the, the festival watching you paint. What are the rules of engagement when you're, when you're working up on the scaffold? Is it okay to talk to you? Yeah, it's okay to talk. Um, asking... Thoughtful questions are good. <laughs> Say don't. Are there dumb? What are the dumb questions you get? Don't ask people how much they're getting paid oh, okay. <laughs> to pay a mural. <laughs> I feel like that one's always weird. Mm -hmm. um, um, but yeah, it, or yeah, ask like where you got the inspiration from, or yeah. like how long you've been doing it. Like thoughtful things like that. I think. Are nice. So you might see something as you're creating this mirror. You might see something. Somebody goes by, or something goes by, or something pops into your head that oh, suddenly that becomes part of the mirror. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. like that. Yeah. So I'll, even today I was painting, and there was like a kind of bigger section that I was doing, and I was doing kind of like these repeated patterns. And halfway through it, I was like, I'm already bored of doing <laughs> these patterns. Why did I decide to do this? Um, so yeah, it, really anything that sounds good on the spot, I'll find a way to put it in. Are artists uh, competitive? So you've got painting right next to you mm -hmm. on both sides of you, actually. You've got artists, are you watching? Are you looking at what they're doing? Are you, are you like afterwards, are you walking around looking and just comparing your work against others? I think everyone like naturally <laughs> does that. Yeah. But it's also, everyone's work is really different mm -hmm. also. So. The comparing is pretty subjective in that way. If someone, it's hard to compare yourself to someone who does something so completely different uh, than what you do. But I think what's cool is going around and seeing how, like what techniques people use. Mm -hmm. Because you can see a way someone's like painting something that then you can bring into your stuff and be like, oh, this is actually what he's doing is way faster. I could do ah. something like that. and it, in my own style, and it would speed things up. So you look at your work. Uh, I understand you're a mid-century modern fan. Mm -hmm. So are you going to see that? Is is that something that is communicated in your work? Uh, the one I'm doing now, little like glimpses. Yes, mm -hmm. like I like kind of like big, simple shapes. Like the whole thing. Like my stuff is super complicated and detailed. But if you were to break it down, mm -hmm. it's all based off of really simple shapes. And those shapes, to me, I think are um, grounded in almost like mid-century design. Mm -hmm. So your surface, um, it's, it's, I think it's concrete block, yeah. isn't it? So do you decide, based on what, you, maybe, it's, maybe it's brick, maybe it's, it's plywood, mm -hmm. does that enter into your decision of how or what you paint? Kind of, um, yeah. I mean, something so like the cinder block that we're painting on, it's perfect. It was great. It was a nice, easy surface to work on. Uh, something like, like I've painted like shipping containers before. <laughs> Those are not easy to do, especially really? if I'm, for me trying to get like straight lines yeah. and then having to like tape a straight line over a beveled mm. uh, metal uh, thing. And then I use spray paint and um, metal does not soak up spray paint that well. 
So while you're not painting, if you get a chance to uh, see and taste and feel Jackson. Yeah, it's you, nice just even like, yeah, like walking around and checking everything out. Nice enough to open a Bobcat Bonnie's? It could be. Like I said, I don't make the decisions on oh, that, okay. but I'm, but I'm, right. I'm done. But you have, you have influence with your partner. This is true. Okay. This All is right, true. well, think about it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, uh, continued uh, success, good success in your uh, career. Uh, awesome work. And uh, thanks for uh, coming to Jackson. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Yeah. A uh, portrait or a uh, mural artist uh, from, from Detroit, Joy Solomon. Check him out. He's downtown Jackson.